Have you ever wondered why the same dollar you have today may not buy you the same amount of goods tomorrow? This question brings us to the topic of inflation. Inflation is the rate at which the overall price of goods and services is rising. It's like an economic thermometer used to measure the health of an economy. Inflation is calculated based on the change in price of a basket of goods and services such as housing, food, clothing, and transportation. It's a normal part of a healthy economy, just like how your body temperature rises when you're physically active. However, when inflation gets too hot, it can become a problem. High inflation or hyperinflation can lead to a decrease in the purchasing power of money, meaning your dollar will buy less than it did before. This is why it's crucial to understand, monitor, and control inflation. So, inflation is like this silent thief that slowly erodes the value of your money. Let's time travel back to the Roaring Twenties, a time of economic boom and high inflation. Picture a decade of jazz, flappers, and prosperity, a time when America was experiencing an economic boom like no other. The Roaring Twenties, as they were aptly named, were indeed roaring with economic activity. But behind the glitz and glamour, there was another story unfolding, a story of rapidly rising prices, a story of inflation. Now, let's delve into the why. The economic conditions of the 1920s were ripe for inflation. The First World War had just ended, and economies were shifting from a wartime to a peacetime footing. This transition, coupled with an economic boom, led to an oversupply of money. You see, during prosperous times, people tend to spend more, businesses invest more, and governments also increase their expenditure. And when there is more money chasing the same number of goods, prices naturally go up. That's inflation in action. But the story doesn't end there. This high inflation had a profound impact on the general population. Imagine your hard-earned money losing its value day by day. A loaf of bread that cost 10 cents yesterday now costs 12 cents. That's the harsh reality of inflation. It erodes the purchasing power of money, making it harder for people to afford the same goods and services. Moreover, the economic boom of the 20s was fueled by credit. People were borrowing left and right to buy goods, invest in stocks, or purchase real estate, driving prices even higher. This overspending, coupled with the easy availability of credit, created a bubble that was destined to burst. And when it did, it led to the Great Depression, a stark contrast to the prosperity of the Roaring Twenties. So, the Roaring Twenties was a time of prosperity but also of soaring inflation, a cautionary tale for other periods of economic boom. When the economy is booming, it is crucial to keep an eye on inflation and manage it effectively to prevent it from spiraling out of control. After all, history as we've seen, has a way of repeating itself. Fast forward to the 1930s, the time of the Great Depression, a period of economic downturn and deflation. This decade marked a stark contrast to the prosperity of the Roaring Twenties. Imagine going from a time of economic growth and booming stock markets to a period of crushing poverty and widespread unemployment. That's exactly what happened during the Great Depression. The 1930s was a time when the economic bubble of the previous decade burst. The stock market crashed in October 1929, wiping out millions of investors. The banking system failed, leading to a contraction in the money supply. The United States, along with the rest of the world, was plunged into a deep and prolonged economic depression. But why did prices fall during the Great Depression? Deflation occurred because the economic downturn led to a decrease in demand for goods and services. This happened due to high unemployment rates, as people simply didn't have the money to spend. Businesses responded to this decrease in demand by cutting prices. However, this led to a vicious cycle. As prices fell, businesses made less money, leading to further layoffs and even lower demand. So, while lower prices might sound like a good thing, during the Great Depression, they were a sign of economic distress. Deflation made the economic situation even worse because it increased the real value of debt. People who owed money found it more difficult to pay back their loans which led to more defaults and bankruptcies, further deepening the economic crisis. The impact on the general population was devastating. Unemployment soared to 25% at its peak and many people lost their homes. Bread lines and soup kitchens became a common sight as people struggled to feed themselves and their families. The Great Depression was a period of economic hardship that touched nearly every household in America. So, the Great Depression was a time of hardship and deflation, a stark contrast to the inflation of the Roaring Twenties. Now imagine your money losing value so fast that prices double every few hours. Welcome to Zimbabwe in the 2000s. 
Hyperinflation isn't just a high rate of inflation, it's inflation gone wild. Picture the inflation rate exceeding 50% per month, that's hyperinflation, and it was the state of affairs in Zimbabwe in the early 2000s. Zimbabwe's economy was in dire straits. The country was mired in debt, and the government was printing money to pay its bills, leading to an oversupply of currency. This oversupply, coupled with a lack of faith in the government's ability to manage the economy, resulted in the rapid devaluation of the Zimbabwean dollar. The causes of Zimbabwe's hyperinflation were numerous and interconnected. Land reforms in the late 1990s led to a sharp drop in agricultural production, which was a key sector of the economy. At the same time, Zimbabwe's involvement in the Congo War drained the country's resources further. The government's response was to print more money, which only accelerated the inflation. Hyperinflation in Zimbabwe had a profound effect on the population. Salaries couldn't keep up with the skyrocketing prices and people found their life savings evaporating. Businesses struggled to set prices as the cost of goods was constantly changing. Imagine going to a cafe for breakfast and finding that the price of your coffee has doubled by the time you finished your meal. That was the reality for Zimbabweans in the 2000s. The government's monetary policies played a significant role in the hyperinflation. By continually printing money, they were fueling the fire of inflation. It was a vicious cycle, with more money leading to higher prices which in turn led to the printing of even more money. Zimbabwe's hyperinflation finally ended in 2009 when the government abandoned the Zimbabwean dollar in favor of foreign currencies. But the damage was done, and the effects are still felt today. So Zimbabwe in the 2000s is an example of hyperinflation where money loses value so fast that it becomes nearly worthless. So what can we learn from these historical examples of inflation and hyperinflation? Well, let's recap. Firstly, inflation is the general increase in prices and fall in the purchasing value of money. It's a normal part of a healthy economy, but when it accelerates into high inflation or even worse, hyperinflation, it can have catastrophic effects. We've seen this in the Roaring Twenties, followed by the Great Depression and more recently, Zimbabwe in the 2000s. These historical events underline the importance of sound monetary policies. Governments and central banks must manage the money supply carefully to prevent high inflation or hyperinflation. These policies can help stabilize the economy and protect the value of our money, but it's not just up to them. We all have a role to play. By understanding inflation and its potential impacts, we can make informed decisions that protect our financial future. Remember, inflation is like a silent thief, and it's up to us to understand it, guard against it, and make informed decisions to protect our financial future. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.